Okay, y'all, I'm going to have to return to talking about Indie 5 again. I know for some of y'all, talking about movies or anything that's related to popular culture is stupid and, and pointless, and uh, it's all bread and circuses, and, and uh, you know, we should talk about more important, pressing, serious things all the time. Um, but I disagree. I mean, yes, there there is truth to the bread and circuses notion, uh, but of course, without bread, we can't eat. So, bread, you know, in a in a in the larger sense of the term that it's supposed to encompass, um, and circuses, you know, meaning entertainment. Well, entertainment is related to the arts. Uh, An art is something that is, uh, um, you know, has been a part of man uh, for as long as man has been has walked the earth. So. Uh, Art is one thing, of course, and the industry is something quite different. And anything that takes the industry down a peg or exposes the industry or makes the industry look uh, uh, like the uh, um, evil and uh, stupid thing that it is, uh, I, I'm, I am um, enthusiastic about highlighting. And that's what makes me very, that was what, that was what drew me to the, all the, all of the um, hype about don't worry, darling. Uh, uh, the movie uh, from a couple months ago now, I believe it was, and uh, it's what's making me increasingly interested in Indy Five or or the fifth Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. That's the title we've been given. We've got a preview, um, and it looks nah, not so great. Um, so what? What can be said? What more can we say about this ongoing saga? Well, uh, in case you hadn't already heard, it, it's taken a couple of twists and turns. Um, there were all of these insiders, uh, or, or you know, supposed insiders, uh, who were claiming that they had uh, uh, shown test screenings with five or six different endings, and that the audience hated all of them. Um, but that, uh, the, but the, the one that was the that tested the best had a 35% favorability, favorability uh, score. Of course, this is just these were just what these uh, these people who were claiming to be insiders were claiming. And the more uh, uh, explosive claim that they were making was that this movie intended uh, to basically erase the character, uh, the iconic masculine macho character of Indiana Jones uh, and replace him with a a, a, a strong uh, powerful uh, woman who don't need no man uh, in Phoebe Waller Bridge who plays his goddaughter and his sidekick in this movie but who is apparently who apparently has all this this sort of haughty kind of personality and, and uh, you know is very disrespectful to him all the way through and, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, thinks that he's a, he's a relic of, uh, toxic masculinity and all this kind of stuff that, that, uh, that they're saying that they're, that we were hearing about. And, but of course the worst thing is that, uh, was the rumor that, uh, at the end of the movie, supposedly they go back in time. Uh, time travel is already, uh, do we need time travel in Indiana Jones? And don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of the, 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 the original Indiana Jones trilogy. It was a part of my childhood. It fired my childhood imagination almost as much as Star Wars did. Um, you know, I'm aware that it's flawed. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm sure if I watched it now, it wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't um, uh, be as, uh, uh, I wouldn't, it wouldn't experience it in, with such untrammeled uh, bliss as uh, I uh, experienced it with when I was um, 10, uh, 12, and uh, I think 15 was, uh, I think, when the three movies came out, or, or 17. The last movie was, I think, in 88 or 89. Um, but the three movies that make up the original uh, trilogy, they fit together as, you know, uh, as a unit and the final one, Indiana Jones, uh, and um, and the Holy Grail. At the end of that one, 
you know, we have Indy and his father, uh, and I think Sala, uh, uh, you know, riding off into the sunset on their horses. And it's a perfect ending. It should have ended there. But then, sometime in the aughts, uh, was it 2007, 2008, they decided to, uh, to bring Indy back. And uh, it, was a, it was, of course, uh, basically a cash grab sort of thing. Um, and they decided to bring aliens into the Indiana Jones world, which uh, didn't really work. And now, I mean, it was, it was iffy enough to have uh, uh, Indiana Jones be brought back when he's, um, you know, in his mid-60s. Uh, but now the actor playing Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford, is, I believe, 80 or, or, or right on the cusp of 80. Um, not, you know not really an action hero uh, uh, you know, mode <laughs> when you're 80 years old. Nothing against older people, I'm not saying that they can't be active and, and uh, have, have fun lives and so forth, but you're not going to be running around, uh, you're getting dragged behind a truck uh, and doing, you know, and, and uh, doing all of the, the sort of things that Indiana Jones does, all of the stunts that he does. Uh, you're not going to be doing that at age 80, no matter who you are, no matter how fit you are at that age. So this entire idea of, of having another Indiana Jones movie uh, is is really um, already very, uh, very questionable. Spielberg has nothing to do with it. Lucas has nothing to do with it. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so all of the principals, except Harrison Ford, uh, you know, uh, and the guy who played Sala, you know, his, his sidekick in, in uh, the first movie, uh, and, and also showed up in the third movie. Uh, it, only those two guys are back, uh, I, I believe, from, from the original cast. Uh, maybe, uh, the, the, maybe Karen Allen shows up, it's not clear. Um, in any case, here's what we had going on. Um, they had the, there were these persistent rumors... Uh, that they were going to erase Indiana Jones, you know, in, in deference to woke ideology, and uh, and have him replaced by this uh, this this uh, strong and capable woman. And the worst of it was that that uh, at least according to the rumor, one of the screenings, and the one that that supposedly uh, Catherine Kennedy wanted the most. Again, this is all just rumor speculation. Uh, from my point of view, because I don't know, and, and it's what uh, these uh, these insiders were saying, but the one the version that she wanted uh, is one in which uh, old Indy and uh, his uh, goddaughter Phoebe Waller Bridge, the, the character uh, played by the actress Phoebe Waller Bridge, go back in time to the 30s. Young Indy sacrifices himself for them, and then old Indy fades away, so Indiana Jones ceases to exist even before he ever had any of the adventures that he had in the first three movies, and then we see her, in the end, doing all the stuff that he did, you know, running away from the boulder in the first movie, uh, I guess, uh, you know, encountering uh, the, the, uh, the Sankara stone, the, the Sankara stones and the missing children in the second movie, uh, whatever, all the, all the adventures that Indy, Indy had are now going to be, uh, uh, this woman's adventures. So Indiana Jones is just going to be erased from, uh, uh, from history. I mean, from, from, from the canon, from canonical history. And she's going to replace him. It'll be as if Indiana Jones had never existed. Which, uh, I mean, I don't know anyone for whom that sounds like a good idea. You know, I don't care. Like, even if you're a flaming liberal uh, feminist, do you, uh, and, and, I mean, does that sound good to you? Maybe it does. I don't know. Um, maybe you think uh, Indiana Jones is just a, you know, an example of toxic masculinity that needs to be erased, needs to be wiped out. And, and that's, and that, that, that's doing the right thing to, uh, to have this movie that, that totally retcons his entire life and takes him out 
from an early age and has him replaced uh, by by a woman who's who's much more capable and much more powerful and much more uh, you know what better in every way than, than he could ever be just the way women always are uh, you know I could see certain ideologues thinking yeah that sounds neat certain very you know uh, uh, very radical, very extreme ideologues, but everybody else, anybody who enjoyed Indiana Jones, anybody who uh, enjoyed the character of Indiana Jones, I, I just don't see that type of ending working. I, I just see that flopping so hard, and I and I see the anger that it uh, will will uh, arouse uh, being so extreme. Uh, you know, the, you know they, they they might set uh, Lucasfilm on fire. Uh, <laughs> you know, they might be rioting outside of uh, uh, Disney. Uh, you know, for 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 that, uh, for for doing some, for doing a hatchet job like that uh, to this iconic cinematic uh, character. Now, it's not as I pointed out before. It's not totally. Uh, it's not like it's it's uh, um, totally unprecedented. In the Terminator uh, movie franchise, the last Terminator film, Terminator Dark Fate, has uh, uh, has a, a situation where they retcon uh, the character of John Connor by having him be killed as a boy. Now he was he's the one who grows up and saves uh, humanity. Uh, after you know the machines rise up, rise up and and uh, you know he's he's the leader of the the human resistance, uh, but but then the, in, the, in this final movie that they made that was a huge flop, uh, he's uh, he's killed off and and he's replaced by uh, some Mexican girl. <sighs> I mean they actually did that. Now Terminator's not this. I, I don't think it's. Of the same stature as Indiana Jones, the first two movies were huge, but after that, I, I don't think it's you know it, it, it kind of declined uh, as as far as being a staple of popular culture. Um, plus, John Connor wasn't the, like the the focal point of um, the Terminator movies. The term the foc focal point was always Sarah Connor, uh, his mother, and the Terminator himself. Um, you know, Arnold. But this would be the first time that they took, actually had uh, a, you know, a, the fixture, the, the character who was is beloved, and the, the character who the movies are named after, um, and 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 then they would go back and and just make it that he never existed. Um, you know, a part of me just thinks uh, like, yeah, uh, do it, like. <laughs> Like, sort of, let's just, you want you guys just want to make every, you know, you want to set everything on fire. Uh, you just want to uh, want to let it all burn. You want to kill the past, you know, like uh, Kylo Ren said in, in uh, Last Jedi. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, do it and see, and just, just see, see what happens. All right. Uh, you know, part of me is actually... Uh, uh, rubbing my hands together at the thought. Of course, another part of me is really grieved and really horrified and really offended uh, beyond measure that they would uh, take take such a beloved character who means so much to so many people and just and just wipe him out. Now again, that was the rumor, and the director of the new movie, James Mangold, came out a couple of times and uh, kind of snarkily and pissily, you know, responded to the, what he called the trolls uh, who were saying these things and, sa and said, it's not true. Indiana Jones is not going to be replaced. There haven't even been any test screenings. Uh, so he was denying everything. Um, uh, <laughs> and that gave people pause because it was like, all right, if this... If the director is going to come out and flatly deny these things, um, and then they then the movie comes out and it's exactly what the uh, what the the rumors had been, uh, uh, what, what the people who had been talking talking the or spreading the rumors had been saying, 
if that turns out to be true, he's got egg on his face, he loses all credibility, uh, and the shit show just just goes, uh, just ascends even further, it goes to the nth degree. Uh, and so he's denying that there were ever any test screenings, which seems um, odd. I mean, I don't really know how these things work, but I do know test screenings are a staple of uh, Hollywood films, and I, it's also well known that principal uh, that the, uh, shooting was wrapped uh, nearly a year ago. Ten months ago, they came to an end. The, the shooting uh, came to an end, so there was no more uh, uh, principal filming uh, of the of, of footage. But now, the newest wrinkle, what's come out in the last couple of days, is the that uh, John Williams, the the uh, composer for Indiana Jones, and also the composer for Star Wars and for you know a ton of other uh, movies of that time period, things directed by Lucas or Spielberg or or others. Um, you know, he was their go-to guy, and he's he's really really old, but he's still still kicking. Um, and he actually spilled the beans. He said uh, uh, to uh, at a concert uh, that that uh, people had attended, uh, he he spoke to the audience about and, and said, "It looks like we're going to go back and film another ending, and I'm going to have to do another score for another ending." And he said this like two or three days ago. I think it was on well today's this today's the 16th. I believe this was on the the 13th or the 14th that he was uh, captured uh, making this claim. So now everything is like, well, well, now, wait a minute. You denied uh, that, that, there was, uh, that, that there were five or six different endings. You denied that there were test screenings, uh, Mr. Mangold. Uh, and, now, and now there's talk about another ending? You know, what's, what is it? Well, and the movie finished filming in early, uh, uh, early 20, what is it? Early, uh, early 2022. Um, it was supposed to come out in summer of, tw of 2022, but they pushed it a, a full year ahead. Um, you know, what are they waiting for? Wh what's the, why is it just in stasis like this? Why has it been in stasis for so long? Uh, what, what more needs to be done? Uh, and so it does seem more and more likely that there, ha there has been wrangling over the ending, over how this movie ends. If it's true that they're going to film an, a whole nother ending, and that John Williams is going to be tasked with scoring a whole nother ending, then now people are thinking, well, you know, the outcry uh, against the, this... Uh, this uh, uh, wiping Indiana Jones out of out of history uh, and replacing him with uh, with Phoebe Waller Bridge <laughs> as the new Indiana the new and improved female Indiana Jones although what is a woman right <laughs> but anyway that aside this seems to give fuel to the notion that all along um the maybe the the, the so-called trolls, uh, you know the, the people who are who are the ins, who claim to be insiders, who claim to know these things uh, uh, about what was going on, that they were right, and now the they're scrambling to change the ending to something that is more acceptable, uh, because people are just so pissed off about the idea of of Indiana Jones being absolutely wiped out of history. Um, which it, it just, I have, I still have a really hard time believing that that was ever something that they were going to do. But then again, who knows? We live in a time of extreme ideology. The ideologists, uh, the ideologues uh, have taken over the institutions and they are, you know, feeding us their slop. They don't want to give us uh, uh, the end. The, they think it's good for us to give us uh, things that we don't want, right? They want to subvert expectations because uh, because they know better than than we do.
that's what they think. So in a way, I can sort of see the, I can sort of see them thinking, yeah, wow, this would be a really just nut crushing kind of ending if we, if we got rid of the toxic male with his fedora hat and his bullwhip totally and uh, gave them over to the, to the woman uh, and let her be the new Indiana Jones. Ha ha ha. Um, but now maybe they're seeing, yeah, you know, that's really not going to be the best idea or maybe someone from upper management is saying no let's not go with that anyway it's a lot of inter it's very entertaining to observe uh this the shit show that it is and we'll see what happens thanks for watching